you should have seen my car this morning. Oh my word, it was a giant block of ice. But the charger port opened, so I managed to successfully plug her in. And it's just a question of getting the battery up to a sensible level. And all will be well with the world. My God, it is cold. Hello, Jazzy. And yesterday, I took my board out the back of the car and it was so cold that my hand froze to one of the trucks. That's not a good sign. I am so gutted I didn't bring my drone. Although for anyone thinking of flying in weather like this, you do have to watch out for icing. Other than ice on the blades, this is stunning weather for a little fly. It feels colder than that. Still, at least the car's charging. I am feeling very sleepy still because I've only had one and a half coffees this morning and by this point I really should be onto my third. But that is something I will fix as soon as I get home. Careful. There you go, look at that. Yeah, definitely too cold for this. to go back and sort out coffee. No idea where Soph is. She just walked off with Jasper into a field somewhere. You know, this board is actually starting to feel like it could do with a charge, so. Hello? You made it back. Yeah. Would you mind making me a coffee, please? Yes, of course. Work. Sometimes I think she's actually more addicted to caffeine than I am. This is single-handedly causing me massive dietary issues. I love Christmas cake. So far, almost all of the cake that's been eaten there has been eaten by me. And over the next week, I'm probably gonna eat the rest of it too. I'm determined to get back into my calorie counting using Fitbit and, and all of that stuff which will help encourage me to actually do some exercise to help balance the equation. So this is about 320 calories worth of cake, probably. Somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, nice colour. What's the feeling? Bye! Going shopping with Soph briefly in a minute, so I think we'll just make sure the car is nice and warm. Still got a little ways to go. Also, I have just charged up my electric skateboard, so I am just going to quickly do a few laps of the drive, just to take the edge off, because I never like to leave the batteries at 100%, because it's not good for them. God, it is so cold today. You know, if there was just a little bit of precipitation, it'd be snow. Which would be really exciting, because I absolutely love snow. Snow is brilliant. That'll just about do, I think. Time to get going. Come on, Jasper. Right, get you in. Jasper was going to be going shopping with his mummy, but turns out he's going to be sitting in the car with me. I am... Um putting my video up on the internet for today. Fantastic here, you get 4G, it's so unbelievably quick. Speaking of things which are fantastic, the old autopilot, it gets a bad rap from a safety point of view sometimes. I personally always believe that was quite unfair. I think if you look at the numbers, it's actually a really good safety feature. The, the difficulty comes from the fact that at least at the moment, the way it's designed. Sometimes it causes an accident where a person might have avoided an accident, but then sometimes when a person wouldn't have avoided an accident, it does. So it's kind of, you know, a bit of, bit of both worlds there. But ultimately, I think the, the potential for this sort of thing in the future is absolutely fantastic because the one thing that computers do really well, which humans don't, is they work consistently. And that's the thing about driving and people, is you can be the world's best driver for all of the time that you're behind the wheel, except for one second. And in that one second, it's really incredibly sensitive to momentary lapses in concentration, which isn't something which computers suffer from, usually. 
Uh, you can, they can be poorly coded, they can freeze, you know, nothing is 100% in this world, but by and large, they are much more reliable and much quicker to react to situations and much more dependable in their reaction. Because when it comes to driving, we're not really talking about trying to have a superhuman driving system. What we're looking for is something that works as well as a human driver but unlike the human driver it does that 100 percent of the time and then i suppose down the line there are some more interesting things you can do that involve actually anticipating to a much higher degree what's about to happen you know there was a very near miss elon musk just tweeted about it very impressive actually the it's an autopilot hardware version one so the original autopilot hardware the radar has been sort of trained so that it can detect if there's a car in front of the car that's in front of the Tesla, if you see what I mean. So it could tell that there were two cars ahead and the one behind was basically going to run into the back of the one ahead. And so it predicted that accident ahead of time and the alarm went off and the car started slowing down before the driver had even got his foot to the brake. And that's the kind of thing that you know this sort of self-driving autonomous vehicles in the future even if only a relatively small proportion of cars are that level of autonomous what you're going to find is a dramatic improvement in road safety because when you get the numpty who's driving manually swerving all over the road losing control all the all the rest of the vehicles on the road are going to adapt and move out of the way in a sort of probably slightly science fiction-esque manner, the end result will be less fatalities on the road. I'm quite sure of that. And I definitely think it's well worth a little bit of teething trouble, shall we say, actually getting these things rolled out and, and implemented. Where I'm going with this is autopilot, fantastic in my opinion and the fact that it's getting a bit of good press i think is really good because we want the public to be on side anyway i probably can't do too much more vlogging in the car just now because jasper is i don't want to wake him up that would be not good so it's just running off to take advantage of the next home sale i think i don't even want to know what she's buying i ignorance is bliss when it comes to that sort of thing and at least the car is nice and toasty. I'm feeling very positive at the moment because the sun's out. Well, it, it was out. It's kind of going down now. But still, it's been nice to see some sunlight. My video's still got another 10 minutes to do. I'm trying to put a bit more time and effort into thumbnails. I've noticed something which is really annoying, and I have no idea why this happens, but it always seems to be my least favorite videos that wind up getting the most views. I've got to work out why that is. Anyway, enough waffling. Probably gonna wake Jasper if I'm not careful, so I'm going to pop some music on, which hopefully will keep him asleep. Fantastic. One massive advantage that I'm definitely feeling the benefits of at the moment in this cold weather, it's nice to be able to keep the heating on the whole time. I would Without have literally, like yeah. The planet. Most people won't just sit there with their petrol engine running for an entire hour because it'll cost them like 10, 15 quid. Quite busy here at the moment. Turns out Soph's not the only person who likes to buy things and then immediately return them. In that store, they had nothing left, literally nothing. I've decided not to leave my skateboard in the back of the car because it's going to be well below freezing tonight and I, I don't know what effect that has on the batteries but I don't think it's a good effect. I've got a thumbnail to do and some packing and then tomorrow we will be leaving onwards and upwards as they say. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye! scraped ice off the windshield of my car once in the last five years which is how long I've been driving EVs now yes five of the best years of my life from a driving point of view as you know just generally life is good